vaginal canal as it leads up to the cervix, which is just the opening to the uterus. This is part of the uterus itself, Excuse obviously not the whole thing, but by cutting it like this, you can see a lot of really cool stuff that's gonna be useful. We have an ovary, as well as its uterine tube or fallopian tube that's attached to. And this is the bladder, and then this is the pubic bone. So there's a ton going on here. But when it comes to period cramps, in order to understand it, you first have to understand that the uterus's job is to turn an embryo into a fetus. In order to do that, it has to grow a thick inner lining called the endometrium. So some of you probably heard of endometriosis. That's a problem with the endometrium. Every month, as long as she's menstruating, ovary is going to secrete estrogens and progesterone that's going to come down to the uterus She's and tell that inner lining to get nice, thick, and glandular. The reason why is because an embryo doesn't have a placenta to exchange nutrients with mom. So it literally feasts on that endometrium until it can build the placenta. But let's say you don't get pregnant. If you don't get pregnant, the uterus pretty much just decides to start over. So what it's going to do is the blood vessels that supply that endometrium constrict. And as it constricts, it deprives it of blood and oxygen. We call that ischemia, and that can be pretty painful. Then the uterus itself is gonna start contracting. The reason it does that is you think that like it's shaking off the uterine lining, that endometrium. And so the endometrium gets squeezed out of the cervix and out the vaginal canal to the outside world. And it'll take, on average, it's around three to five days. That varies between females, but that's gonna be your average. But that's what a period cramp is. A period cramp comes from the uterus deciding to start over. It deprives the area of blood and then shakes it off as it leaves out the vaginal canal. But there you go. That's a period cramp.